Hello everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. Our song today is Oceans, parentheses, Where Feet May Fail by Hillsong. And uh, I love this song because it just, you know, it goes in a totally different direction uh, than most of the, the, the songs that you hear. Uh, just at that moment, you know, walking on the water and, and uh, um, that journey that faith we have to have in God. So uh, make that our prayer today that we can uh, go deeper and uh, be in God's grace. Our song will be in the key of D, D is in dog, and uh, our chords we'll be using today are D, A, G, and B minor. We'll have a couple of slash chords that we will talk about. And if you're using cheat sheets, uh, that's on page two of the cheat sheets. Review those chords before we begin. If you don't know what cheat sheets are, they're just a little booklet I created to help you uh, learn how to play chord piano. So you can click on a link link below here on your uh, screen if you want to learn more about it. All right, here we go. Starting off with B minor. And uh, I'm going to play like this at the beginning where you can see real easily the notes. After I go through all the chords, then I will play regular, uh, which will just be the hands spread out on the piano. When you play, you want to have a nice little curve like this for proper technique. And it helps your hands from, uh, keeps them from getting tired. So B minor, be our first chord for the verse one. Uh, and then right after that, we're going to go to an uh, A over C. And I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Uh, on the bass, you can play B, and this would be the fifth above it, this black note. So you can either do two Bs in octaves, or you can play B in the fifth above it. Don't worry about fifth if you don't know what that means. Just play this, and your hands will get used to it. All right, B minor. You call me out upon, and at upon, we're going to move to A over C. In the music, it'll say A slash C, and all that means is in this hand, you're going to play this A chord, and in the bass, you're going to play a C sharp, A over C sharp. Uh, and if you're a bass player, you play B sharp, B sharp, you would not play an A. And that creates this chord. Listen to the difference. A in the bass, C sharp in the bass. Okay. You call me out upon. down here on this D for waters. I also went up to this. This is just a, another possibility of a D chord. Remember, all you need is three notes, D, F sharp, and A to make a D chord. So you can play it here, or you can play it here, D, A, uh, sorry, F sharp, A, D. As long as you have those, you have a D chord, and that's just called an inversion when you put them in a different order. Don't let it scare you. On the waters, the great unknown, back to an A chord. Great unknown with the A's in the bass, A and we've got an E, the fifth, where feet may fail. Then a G chord, B, and there I find you in the mystery. And the A over C sharp, and then a D. Oceans D, my faith will stand, A and G. We'll go into the chorus, G chord, and I will call D chord upon your name, A, then G, D, A, and keep my eyes above the waves. Same thing again, when oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. And this is going to go G for three beats, then a quick A, and then a B minor. For I am yours, two, three, and you are mine. And right on, uh, you are mine. Uh, that B minor is going to play for three beats. Then we'll do a A over C sharp into a D. You are mine. A over C sharp. A chord, then a G chord. On the 
verse 2, same as verse 1. B minor, your grace abounds. Deepest waters, A over C sharp and D. Now A and G, sovereign hands. Be my God. B minor, A sharp, A over C sharp, and a D. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me. Repeat the chorus. Let's look at the bridge. Bridge will start on a B minor. Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. That's a G to a D. Let me walk upon the waters, whatever you would call me. To an A. And we'll, we'll just keep doing those same four chords over and over through this bridge. You can repeat this bridge a lot of times and uh, just build it up. So that's B minor, G, D, A. And take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. My faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit lead me when my trust is without borders. I'm building this, letting that bass double up. Take me deeper than my feet could ever want. My faith will be made strong in the presence of my Savior. So a few different ways to build up a song like this. You can take these the same exact chords, and I'm going to go off the camera for a second, but if you go up an octave higher, you could start the song up here, same exact chords, you just move up uh, to the next one, and uh, you can start the song really, really quietly. You call me out upon the water. And then when, once you want to start building the song, move back down. Uh, say you get to the first chorus. And I will call upon your letting it ring, holding out that sustain pedal. Keep my eyes above the waves. So just moving down helps it build. And then the next thing you can do is start putting the rhythm into it. I will call upon your name. Right? That adds a little more. And then what we did on the bridge, you start letting that bass move. to uh, help you build up that song and I want to show you let's take those exact chords uh, that I showed you how to play and we're gonna add a couple notes to each one it's gonna bulk up the chords a little bit and I'll, I'll even show you some notes to play around with if you're not ready for this uh, then you might want to stop right here uh, but it's an easy little thing that you can do to make it sound the song sound fuller uh, and, and a little more professional so for our B minor, instead of playing this, let's add in this note right here. It would make it a B minor 7. Uh, don't worry about that, just know if you add this note down here, it does that. So listen to the difference. Just a little thicker. You call me out. Now when I play my A chord, instead of just playing this, I'm going to add in this note here. Now when I go to my D chord, let's say you're playing this inversion of the D chord, you might play around with moving that pinky up or even down here. And let me show you what you can do with that. Upon the waters. You know, what you're creating is sus4 or sus2. But really, I want you to think of it as moving the shape of the chord around. The great unknown, where feet may fail. And then here's our G chord. You can add in this note as well. And there I find 
Rock and roll fingers right here. That's where you kind of start. Keep that pinky down the whole time. So you either go up or you go down to the thumb. With the sustain pedal, it has that nice little effect. It keeps holding out. Um, call. Sorry. I will call upon your name. If this is too much for you, don't worry about it. But just some, you're doing some syncopation stuff. Uh, you know, just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was kind of a fun thing. I, that's another thing you do with the A chord is come up here to A sus four down to ACES too. So just different ways to move around these chords. Uh, play around with it. Don't even worry about the song or the words of the song at the moment uh, when you're messing around with this and just see if you can keep a bass going like let's say you're on a G chord and you can go. and making it feel more professional. Don't try to do it until you're comfortable with just playing it regular. Uh, and then once you do that, you will be very happy with the results. People will go, man, how'd you learn how to do that? Hey guys, hope you all enjoyed the lesson today. God bless you. Uh, we will see you later. Go check out pianomeditation.com and cheat sheets uh, and say hi to me on Facebook. There's a link below in the description. We'll see you later. Bye!